George, thanks for joining us post-match. That win felt really good, right? Really good, yeah. Um, enjoyed it, everyone enjoyed it. The whole squad was used and uh, excellent feeling. Millwall, it's a great atmosphere, probably the best Millwall atmosphere I've, I've, I've had here at the Den and uh, nice to upset them and, and something for the away fans to celebrate. 13th clean sheet of the season. How much did you enjoy being part of that defensive effort? Last ditch blocks, tackles, the lot. Yeah, it's great. Um, especially at a club like this when you know they're going to just put everything in the box, whether it's you know long balls from their back line, throw-ins, everything came in, um, corners. Evers did brilliant when he came on and everyone, all the strikers, everyone contributed in that defensively. And if we're talking about the shutout and you've referenced Neil Etheridge there, we've got to talk about him. First league appearance of the season, coming on in awkward circumstances, but he definitely didn't let anybody down, did he? No, it's the it's the hardest thing to do, I think, coming on, um, especially if you're a goalkeeper. You, you, but it's credit to him, he, he always trains right, he, he would have prepared right for today, even though you know it's, it would have been quite unlikely to him to come on the way Rudds has done all season. And credit to him, because he was magnificent, kept us in the game, because there were some nervy moments there. Yeah, that was quite impressive. Double save at one point, wasn't there? Yeah, he's enjoying a double save this season, isn't he? So, uh, yeah, he'll be pleased with that. I'm sure it'll be on some reels. Roy Keane can speak about that one, can't he? One for the cameras, no doubt. Um, and then there's the match-winning moment from your good friend, Lucas Djukovic. Yeah. He runs all day up top, but then he's able to produce those magic moments too. Yeah, Blues legend. I think he's he's not far off his uh, 300th game for Blues. So Max has just done 250. Incredible feat for him. And then Dukey. I really hope he gets that. I don't know if he can do it at the end of the season. I think he might just be able to squeeze it in. So, yeah, he's a legend of the club and uh, a legend of the guy. And does he just epitomise what this group is about? Yeah, he's. Uh, you know, there, there's so many leaders and you know, he doesn't have to have the armband to be a leader, Juki, although he actually got it when, when Rudds came off and got great support as he walked past all the away fans and... Uh, probably a bit of abuse while he walked past the home fans so that means how well he's done and how he squeezed that goal in I don't know but um, just keeps doing it year after year you know before I came to the club I've obviously friends with him previously so I, I followed what he'd done and he's just been incredible every, every year for this club so yeah, he's, a, he's a proper legend. And for yourself a first start since Swansea I believe how did you feel out there because we know you pride yourself on your fitness and wanted to be available but then it's different when it comes to match day isn't it? Yeah, you can train all you like, and you know, I consider myself a good trainer, but um, match days are always different. The game probably suited me a bit because it was a lot of long balls and duels and fights and things like that. So um, in terms of fitness, I wasn't having to bomb up and down too much. Um, but thoroughly enjoyed it, clean sheet, and uh, yeah, delighted with that. And it's a win that takes us on to 53 points, which is the joint best tally in the last six years with three games remaining. Special group. Yeah, we want to beat that though. Um, we don't want to rest on that. The manager's been giving us this target to try and to try and smash it, and hopefully, if, if we keep going like we have been, and like, like he's always said, the whole squad's involved. Not many people probably thought I'd, I'd be involved tonight, and um, yeah, I was delighted to be part of that. And the same will be as the season comes to a close. There'll be more people playing and. A real positive, all the young players as well that might not have experienced Millwall away, they stepped up real men today and uh, got the result we, we deserve. Have you enjoyed that this season? You speak about the young players, of an evolving role, mentoring them and sort of coaching them through games and moments. Yeah, really enjoyed it. They're, they're all great lads, whether they're guys on loan or come up through the academy or players we've signed. Um, I think all of them embraced it. They've they've got behind what the manager wants to do. We've all worked hard, and you can to see see their development and how well they've done. And I like to think that everyone can see that as the season's gone on, and 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 I hope they finish and get as many games as they can. And just finally, penultimate away game and last midweek trip of the season, just shy of a thousand blue noses back in the team tonight. They really made it a difference, didn't they? Yeah, incredible. Um, Hearing them, hearing them sing and they do that is it a UB40 song that uh, yeah, food for thought yeah that was, I, I enjoy that one. I, I found myself humming a lot at one point and I thought I'd better concentrate again but I'm enjoying that one it comes on at the end of the game at um, the, the St Andrews doesn't it so uh, being incredible they have all season so um, back us for the last three and, and hopefully we, we, uh, we get the right results and smash that target we're after absolutely congratulations on tonight nice.